guys i hope you all are having a wonderful day thank you guys for coming back to our channel once again my name is sin i'm one half of sister shop tv before we get started please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel it really helps us out with our algorithm so make sure you are liking and you are subscribing so let's go ahead and get on with the video so i just want to come on here to just update you guys on a few things so we have the season finale of basketball wise and on tuesday and there's a lot of rumble especially on social media jennifer williams also i don't even know if it's a, com a confirmation but she said that there's going to be a season 10 of basketball wise so my opinion i do feel like there may be a season 10 of basketball wise but i don't think it's going to be in la I do feel like Shawnee O'Neal is going to find a way to revamp Basketball Wives where it's going to be in Houston or in the South because majority of the ladies do live somewhere in the South except for maybe Evelyn and um, maybe Phoebe but and Jackie as well but majority of the ladies live in the South. So before this whole talk um, Tammy O'Neill was actually supposed to be working on a spinoff of Basketball Wives and I want to say either Dallas or Houston. I'm not sure, but one of those. And I guess it didn't really work out. So I think Shawnee O'Neill may be taking this a series of Basketball Wives to the South. I'm not sure if there is going to be, um, if it's going to be the same ladies, who knows. But I do feel like there possibly may be a spinoff of Basketball Wives in the South because that's where she lives. Okay, so how do I feel about this? I do not, I just, I really do feel like the show has ran its course. It's always the same formula, repeat, rinse, uh, rinse and repeat, you know? Um, it's always, you have a collective and they always target one lady. We've seen this season one, Susie, Gloria, um, what, um, who else? Um, Keisha, uh, OGs, um, Cece, it's Jackie. You know, it's always the same formulas. I really do feel like this show has ran its course. Now, what I would like to see is we need a red table talk where we can have all of the ladies that have been singled out on the show to really talk about how they were treated and mistreated on the show. The Keisha's, the, um, the, even the Tammy's, the OG, the Susie's, the, um, the, uh, what's her, um, Roy's and the, um, uh, is it Keisha? Tamika Claxton, Mika Claxton, Claxton. Yes, if they can have maybe some kind of series, form a basketball live stars, come to the table, talk about their experience, and just kind of get some closures because I feel like we've always got their stories mistold or misinterpreted how they felt on the show. So I really do think that that would be maybe a better series if we can get some kind of closure. And if Shawnee can really let down and put, you know, let down her ego and have a conversation with these ladies and come together so these ladies can get closure on how they were treated and how their stories were misrepresented misrepresented because these ladies were targeted and they were singled out they were mistreated on the show so i feel that these ladies really need some kind of closure um so on the season finale apparently all of the ladies are all getting along because they have managed a way to discredit og to gaslight og to try to force her to recant her story about her experience. So I guess that built bondage with these ladies. Evelyn and Jennifer have managed to rekindle, um, rekindle their friendship because of, you know, they were able to kick OG or get OG um, out of the show. So this is just a way that they have managed to build some kind of friendship. We also get from OG's recording that 
the rumor that was, you know, surfaced with, um, with, um, Malaysia, apparently what Jackie said about her family, it was actually not Jackie that said it. It was actually, you know, this whole rumor was, you know, a part of, you know, Kristen had something to do with it. So my advice for Malaysia, I really do feel like Malaysia does need to apo really apologize to Jackie. Now, Jackie does a lot of things, but how she was treated, how she was not treated, but how she was, you know, pretty much the accused of something she had nothing really a lot a lot of things to do with you know it wasn't started by her so i do feel like malaysia needs to actually apologize to jackie and i do feel that malaysia really needs to look at her inner circle and look at who does not need to be there she needs to analyze her inner circle and really look at who doesn't belong in her inner circle because we've seen that Kristen has been able to throw even people who are really close to her under the bus. So what makes you think that she won't do it to you? It has played out on the show. She, you know, her and Cece they, Cece, they start off as, you know, family. And look what happened to Cece. Even Byron, her stepfather. So Malaysia, what makes, what makes you feel like she won't be able to, she won't do that to you? Especially when it comes to, like, uh, money. And the show, I mean, these girls, they get paid a lot of money. So it's going to drive some people to do things out of their character. Mm -hmm. So then um, another thing I want to touch up on is I, w I really do feel that Malaysia, I hope you watch this series and look at how you were used as an asset to discredit OG's experience i really hope that you watch this series and really self-analyze and like wow like these ladies um the shawnees and the evelyn you know they're really not your friend they're not your friend they're just using you and it which is really sad because you you know it looks like you, you're garnering for something you want like friendship out of these ladies out of, from these ladies and i really hope that you watch the series and look how you are being betrayed and i hope that somehow you and og can have a real conversation and really get her perspective on how she feels because out of all of these ladies even jackie and even jackie i feel that you seem the most genuine and i'm just saying that because i'm reading off body language and and i feel that you, you seem the most seem to be a little bit more understanding jackie obviously she is going to ride whichever way that allows her to be back on the show but i think that you really need to call og apologize first you need to call um call jackie and apologize to jackie um reach out to og and uh, try to apologize apologize to her and really get her perspective on how she felt um that is how I feel about the situation. I know that Jennifer did say, like I said, she said there's going to be a season 10. Um, as for season 10, I don't think it's going to be in LA. I think it's going to be somewhere in Houston. And I hope that they, if there is a, a season 10, which I don't want it to be a season 10, I'm sorry. I feel like this, this show has ran its course. It's not going to be the same girls. Um, so I don't know why Jackie and Kristen and they were doing the most. Because, of course, they want to be back on the show. They want to be back on the graces of Shawnee O'Neal. On the good graces of Shawnee O'Neal. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. Please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessings.